When studying the female reproductive tract, sometimes it you know it looks confusing. There's all these structures here, but there's an incredible organization to it, and it's it's such a beautiful and practical system here. So what I've just drawn, it may look like a kidney gardener is drawing this, but one of the advantages of drawing is to stimulate the brain because we can stare at these models and really not understand them, but then we make a drawing. And by drawing it, we're forced to pay attention to the organization here. So what we have is this beautiful uterus that I've drawn here, where the, the uh, embryo is going to implant here, become a fetus. And right next to it, the urinary bladder. And so you can imagine why a woman is going to experience some pressure on that urinary bladder. She's going to have to urinate frequently. And so the husbands, you need to uh, be sensitive to that because... As the fetus develops, then this, the uh, urinary bladder is going to take the hit. It's going to take the pressure, and so this inner cavity is always going to be under pressure. And so one of the side effects of pregnancy is often the frequent urge to urinate, and it makes complete sense. Now down below, we have the labia minor, which are going to protect some of the sensitive tissue, labia minora and labia majora here. And in the front area, there's a little area of erectile tissue. So it's somewhat like a, a penis because it's going to engorge in blood when the right conditions, uh, you know, the, when the female is feeling safe and loved and the conditions are right, then this clitoral area is going to engorge. The labia actually come up. Here. All right now let's let's really get to the beginning of the story because up here near the top we have these fimbriae which are finger-like projections that their job is to sweep over the ovary and bring the ova down to the uterus so there we have it finger-like projections the fimbriae sweeping over the ovary and inside this ovary this is where the eggs develop they start off with primordia, then secondary, and they become graphene follicles eventually. Next, let's take a look at the extratrace region because we have the uh, transverse colon emptying into the descending colon down this direction and down into the rectum. Now, surrounding the rectum are sphincters, and we don't often think about these sphincters, but when we're young, the sphincters, are, the nerves are very strong. If you've ever seen a child, when they, have to, when they have to go to the bathroom, everybody knows it. Because they're like, i got to go. And they will run. No time for talking. But year by year, we tend to ignore the defecation reflex. And these uh, sphincters are going to weaken. Because we think, oh, you know, I want to wait till I'm in, the, in my home. I want to be in a comfortable place. But the problem is by the time we're 70, now that powerful urge is gone. And uh, it becomes a problem. Constipation becomes a, a, a serious issue with age. Okay, the ureter is going to pass down, you can see it here in the model, and eventually into the urinary bladder and the urethra. Okay, let's get some labels in here so we can start to make some sense out of what we're seeing. We'll start at the top of the story, which is the ovary. So here we have the ovary, or the uh, ova developed, fimbria right here, finger-like projections that are going to sweep over the ovary. Uterine tube, I've drawn in purple here. There's the massive uterus. And you can just imagine this muscular structure housing and protecting the fetus. Cervix, which is at the tip. And this is where you have rapid cell division. And that's the reason we have a female typically every year or two, depending on insurance. A pap smear is done to sample these for uh, cervical cancer. Anytime we have an area of rapid cell division. Here's a vagina, which I attempted to draw with those shelf-like projections that will encourage stimulation uh, of the male's penis. Here's the minora or labia minor, majora, and here's, uh, I'm going to cross the label here, the clitoris is in the anterior aspect of this whole compartment. You can imagine why we have uh, frequent urinary tract infections, at least more common in women than men, because the exit of these sites is all fairly close together. All right, pubic symphysis here, okay, that's going to soften pregnancy. 
urinary bladder, where urine is stored, urethra, where urine is expelled from the body. The external sphincter is where you'd expect it to be on the outside, and the internal on the inner aspect, and then the rectum, which is going to be this last part of the excretory system.